Okay, here we have a base mount pump. You'll see these on jobs for new work. You'll see you'll get to see these for repair. Uh, you'll see leaking seals. You'll see failed bearing assemblies. You'll see motor replacements. There's all kinds of things that you have to do to this pump. Everything you do to it, it has to be lined up. Uh, there's nothing you can take apart on this pump and put it back together that it's going to be in alignment. So it has to be lined up or that coupling is going to fail early. It's also going to exert pressures on the bearings that cause the pump to fail earlier. Now I'm going to put the camera down a little closer to the coupling itself. When you receive one of these pumps on a job, it will not be in alignment. They may have lined it up at the factory, but it's not lined up anymore. It's been fork trucked around, it's been hand trucked around, and it's been bumped, and it's not going to be in alignment. So once you get it placed in the pad, and before you put pipe on it, you want to loosen the bolts that hold the head down. Take this and move it from side to side. See how much play you have. Put it in the center and retighten those bolts. That's step number one. Step number two, loosen the bolts on the motor. Take a straight edge of some sort. Go at the top, backlight it so you can see what's out of alignment. Go to the side, backlight it, and you can see if the motor is cocked to one side, up or down, high or low. Use shims and adjust that motor to line up where it's coming straight into this coupling. That's very important. Now, when you do that, this center insert wants to be a little loose. You want about a sixteenth of an inch front to back play in that coupling. Uh, in operation, it's going to heat up and swell up a little bit. And uh, even if it's lined up, it's going to exert some pressure going both ways on the bearings of the uh, pump, on the bearings of the motor, and it's also going to wear much quicker. So you get a premature failure if that is, if these coupling halves are too tight on this insert. When you repair a pump, you're going to be taking it apart, same drill. But it's going to be piped up, so you're not going to be able to loosen that, but hopefully that won't move too much. If you take it apart, anytime you're out of the pipe, you want to do a preliminary lineup on that pump.